How's it going ladies and gentlemen? In today's video, we're actually gonna take a break off the 300ZX and do a quick project on the F-150. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a little preface to the video. Um, I wanna give you a little detail about my pickup that I own. Um, I've had it for two and a half, almost three years. It is a 2016 Ford F-150. Um, it is a four by two. I didn't have the extra cash, this is the four by four. Um, if you watch some of my older videos, uh, when I went down to pick up the Z and all that, it is the truck that I use to trailer my cars. Um, I really haven't done any modifications on it, but I think it's about time I'm going to finally add running boards. And that's what today's video is going to be about. I went with the Raptor, um, four inch Nerf bars there a little bit longer because I decided to go with the one with the step into the bed just to make it a little bit easier on me. Um, I am tall, but still leaning over that bed is still kind of high, um, especially at its ride, current ride height, which may be coming in a little while. I may raise it, lower it, but we'll see. So stay tuned and here comes the installation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's all the parts that you get with the kit minus the two um, ratchets because that's all you need to install these things. Might be a good idea to have a friend. I chose not to because I don't really have that many, but it's an easy job. A couple quick things we'll get through. Um, you got the brackets front and rear. It's labeled front and rear. I went with the one that also has the step on the bed, but all you need is a 14 millimeter ratchet and a six millimeter hex ratchet. And then it's in and it's done. So one quick thing before we continue on with the video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, click the bell. So we're coming up on 500 subscribers, which means a $50 giveaway to the person with the comment with the most likes or comments below it. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more. If you do have the comment with the most comments and you're not subscribed, you don't win. So let's get back to the video. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is put on the brackets. You can see that Ford already has three bolts already set for their factory ones. So this comes up and it goes right on there. We have to put a little bit of a, what they call a plastic washer on first before we start. And then it's just a combination of a, um, two washers and a nut that are gonna hold this thing in place. All right, so we got those brackets on. Now we have to put the little uh, rubber washers or whatever they want to call them, and then get the um, running boards in place. And then the job is done once we bolt them on up. Again, it's just like the bottom, um, two washers and a screw or a bolt, and they're in. Um, so let's get that knocked out and move on from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for this job, I would give it a rating about a one out of 10. It is not hard whatsoever. Um, it may be better to have two people, although I was easily able to get away with just myself. All you need is a set of couple hand tools. Uh, I had a pair of ratchets, a smaller ratchet, a bigger ratchet, um, and a 14 millimeter socket and a six millimeter hex nut. And it, it, it's an easy job. Like it took me 18 minutes to do that one side. I had set a timer on myself. Um, unfortunately my GoPro didn't really record right. So it, it doesn't have the video or the um, time lapse of it, but it took me 18 minutes for one side. So if you set aside an hour max, that's an easy job to knock out. And they're functional. They're a great addition to your pickup. Um, <laughs> I've already used it and I've had it on the truck for about a day. So I like them already. Easy, easy install, easy to use, and they look normal. They, they don't look crazy um, out of the ordinary and uh, they weren't that expensive. They were about $300 for the pair, which uh, if you want to get really crazy, there's all the way up to about $1,500 one that you can put on but that one also you know you have to 
pack up into the electrical system, which I don't do electric because I kind of like living because I probably electrocute myself and kill myself and that's not something I really want to do. So I went this option. It's nice, it's sturdy, and I love it already. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll take care of it for today. We got the uh, running boards on, nice and tight and right in there. Um, very easy install. It took me 18 minutes for this one side, so about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do both sides. Not a hard job. Two tools if you have impact guns. It makes it a whole lot easier. I don't as we're working out of a metal garage. So when we come back, we're gonna do some more work on the 300ZX and maybe some more goodies on that. Maybe we get hit over to the Z31 next, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and guys, be safe.